Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now the price of Ethereum is in a deciding moment. In just a moment, I'll be covering some brand new price targets for Ethereum and potentially a brand new pattern that is currently forming. I will also cover the breakout that Ethereum has had against Bitcoin. And I've been reading all of your comments and due to popular demand, I will be covering Cardano with some brand new price targets for Cardano at the end of this video. So definitely make sure you're sticking around all the way to the end of this video so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. Information. And just before you jump into it, make sure to drop a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. But anyway, with all of that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about. So right here, we're on the Ethereum to your solar chart on the four hour time frame, And what we can straight away see is the fact that the price of Ethereum is coming into contact yet again to this upwards trending line of support, which is currently coming in at just above 4,000 US dollars. And we've also got this horizontal line of supports coming in at just below 4,000. So in around $4,000 approximately, we've got a decent amount of support for Ethereum in the shorter term. And as I mentioned in yesterday's Ethereum update video, we've also got this exponential moving average coming in close to 3.9K. And previously on the chart, this exact moving average has provided perfect resistance when we were in a downtrend. And as soon as we broke back into a new uptrend, the price of Ethereum has found perfect support along this exact moving average so far. So even if we break a little bit below 4,000, we've also got that support coming in at around 3.9k. But just quickly zooming into the two hour time frame for Ethereum and talking about a brand new pattern on the chart. If Ethereum can somehow get a bounce pretty soon here, then that sets up a potential inverse head and shoulders pattern on the chart. We've already seen the left shoulder. We've already seen the head. And right now we're basically just waiting on a bounce to the upside to form the right shoulder. So it's important to mention that this pattern is not confirmed just yet. I'm just simply letting you guys know that we are potentially forming this pattern, especially if we can get a bounce here sometime soon. And for Ethereum to complete this pattern, we would need to bounce back up towards the neckline, which is currently coming in at around 4160 to 4170. And something else that I mentioned in yesterday's Ethereum update video is the fact that the RSI is bouncing off the same support level right now as where we were the last time we had a short term call off and we bottomed out getting ready for another push to the upside. But at that stage, we saw a bounce from the RSI and within about two days later, we saw a bullish cross in the four hour MACD, which was basically the signal getting us ready for another bullish move in the price before the bullish move even started. And just yesterday, we got extremely close to seeing a bullish cross in the four hour MACD, but we didn't quite get there. So we're potentially resetting this bottom right now in the RSI. And if we can perhaps get another bounce off this level, then possibly in a few days from now, likely within the next week, we're going to see some sort of bullish cross here in the four hour MACD and start bottoming out for this short term call off. But of course, it's still a possibility that the RSI could drop below this support level, which by the way, this support level in the four hour RSI is coming in at around 46. But if we drop any further than that, then basically we're getting closer towards oversold. And that will be a sign by itself that we will be close to bottoming out. So if you're looking at the price oscillators by themselves, they're pretty much saying right now that we are currently around halfway through this short term call off. And the subscribers would already know about this. But for any new viewers on the channel, I'll just give you a quick update on the daily time frame for Ethereum because right now this huge inverse and shoulders pattern is still in play. And the price target is coming in at around 4.7k. But keep Keep in mind, we have a bit of short term resistance at the all time high, which is roughly around 4.4K. And then zooming a little bit further out on the daily time frame, what we can see is we're still forming this huge cup and handle pattern. In fact, we've already formed this cup and handle pattern. And right now we've already broken out to the upside and we're actually consolidating just above the breakout line. And we've seen one successful retest so far. So at the moment on the daily time frame, Ethereum is looking amazing. For Ethereum to no longer look amazing on the daily time frame, basically we'll need to see a strong break back below below this breakout line, which is coming in at just below 3.9K, around 3,860 approximately. So obviously a strong break below that level would not be a bullish sign, but keep in mind, we have not seen that just yet. So currently Ethereum is still looking really good here on the big picture. And just taking a quick look at the Ethereum versus Bitcoin charts, because right now we've actually seen a breakout to the upside. And by the way, I was letting you guys know yesterday that Ethereum was in a deciding moment for the Ethereum versus Bitcoin timeframe, basically saying that we're going to either see a breakout very soon or a rejection very soon. And obviously the moment the price got above that immediate point of resistance, we saw a very sharp move to the upside in the immediate short term. But right now we're potentially coming back down for a retest of this previous line of resistance to potentially flip it into new support. And right now that's coming in at around 0.066 Bitcoin per Ethereum. And also that line that we've just broken above is the breakout line for this huge W pattern on the chart, which is giving us a technical price target all the way up at around 0.0. .0 
0.072 Bitcoin per Ethereum. And from the current price, that is still around another 9% gain against Bitcoin. So obviously a successful retest here with a bounce to the upside would be the confirmation that we would need before we can start looking at these higher price targets. But something else to keep in mind is the fact that we've seen some W patterns here over the past one to two months for Ethereum. As you can see, nice W pattern there. We also saw one over here. And so just because we formed a huge W pattern for Ethereum versus Bitcoin right now, it's still important to remain flexible on the charts because nothing in this market is guaranteed. So that is why we need to now stay above this previous line of resistance. Now getting into one of your most suggested altcoins in the comment section down below. This is Cardano versus the US dollar on the four hour time frame. I try and read as many of your comments as I possibly can. And if a whole lot of you are making the same suggestion, that's when I'll be sure to take that suggestion and turn it into a video here on the channel. But anyway, getting into the Cardano analysis, as you can see here, I've already drawn out this huge symmetrical triangle that is currently forming. We've seen three perfect touch points along this line of resistance and even more perfect touch points along the line of support. And right now, the support line is only coming in just underneath the current price at around $2.10. And the line of resistance is coming in at around $2.25. A symmetrical triangle isn't necessarily a bullish or a bearish pattern, but it still sometimes takes into consideration the trends that we entered into this pattern. So obviously, if you're taking a look here, that was a downtrend as we entered into this pattern. And so sometimes these patterns can act as trend continuation patterns. But apart from that, a symmetrical triangle pattern is more of a neutral pattern. And really, we should wait for either a break below support or a break above resistance before we can put the next price targets in play. And talking about the next price targets for Cardano out of this huge symmetrical triangle pattern, if we break the resistance, the price target is coming in at around $2.72. And if we break support, the price target is coming in at around $1.62. And just zooming out to the daily time frame for Cardano, even if we do break to the downside out of this symmetrical triangle pattern, before we can even look at those lower price targets, we also have this huge range of supports that has been supporting the price of Cardano since the middle of August. And this is right now ranging all the way down towards around $1.90 approximately. So basically, if we break below $1.90, that is when I would be looking towards around $1.60. And on top of that level of support, we've we've also got the golden pocket coming in just underneath that level. And by the way, the golden pocket is starting at around $1.82. So there's a decent amount of support here to the downside for Cardano. So if we do end up breaking the immediate short-term support out of that symmetrical triangle pattern, then that would potentially enter us into another accumulation zone. But then of course, a break above resistance is when we can activate some long positions, for example, but obviously that's not financial advice. That's just giving you guys an inside look of my strategy at the moment. And there's been a lot of people getting bored with Cardano recently and honestly, quite frustrated with the performance of Cardano over the past one to two months. Because as you can see here, we've basically gone sideways. But for the longer term subscribers out there that were on the channel at this exact top, I was actually letting you guys know around one to one and a half months ago, all the way back here, that it is very likely Cardano is going to enter another major consolidation range for quite some time, possibly a few months. You can even go back on the channel and look, I was saying that right back here. So for those that were subscribed back here, all of this sideways price action for Cardano was absolutely expected. And the reason why I was able to predict a lot of this sideways price action for Cardano over the past one to two months was simply by looking at the price oscillators here on the daily time frame and comparing that to this previous area on the chart, as you can see. And the longer term subscribers would already know about this because once again, this is exactly what I was showing you around one to two months ago. But for the brand new viewers on the channel, just a quick recap of my older Cardano videos. Basically, I was taking a look at this previous price action saying that Cardano had a huge run up in the price and then we saw major bearish divergences forming on the daily time frame, with the price oscillators starting to go to the downside and the price starting to lose momentum. And so the moments that the price really started topping out here and started entering into a sideways consolidation, Cardano from that point actually went sideways for the next two months straight before we saw any significant move on the daily time frame, which was basically just a move straight up and then straight back down. So if you don't consider that pump and dump that we saw back here during May, then Cardano actually went sideways for around 160 days, which is over five entire months worth of sideways price action. Now, I'm definitely not saying that we're going to see the exact same sideways price action over the next four to five months. I'm just letting you guys know that this sideways price action was to be expected. And honestly, we could be due for another one to two months worth of sideways price action. And if that happens, I wouldn't be too surprised. And even though some of you might not like to hear that, all of this boring price action in the market is actually the time to be paying the most attention. Because let's be honest here, the majority of the people in the markets pay the most attention to a crypto once it has already seen a massive gain. And at 
that point, the opportunity has basically already passed. But when we're having a huge consolidation range, and especially if we have bearish price action, like what we saw back in June and July, for example, those are the times to be paying the most attention. And those are the times that I accumulate the most because during those more boring times in the market, when the majority of people out there don't really like to look at the price action, that simply tells me that there is an opportunity in the market. And so I would consider all of this sideways price action for Cardano a huge accumulation range, potentially setting us up for another bullish move towards the end of the year, especially if Bitcoin and Ethereum can continue on their bullish path. But if Bitcoin and Ethereum perform really badly, then in that case, we could see a little bit more bearish price action for Cardano. But at the moment, Bitcoin and Ethereum on the larger timeframes are still looking really good. So for Cardano, I'd still expect some decent performance for Cardano towards the end of the year approximately. And do not forget to follow me over on my Twitter. My official Twitter is linked in the description down below if you want to get these extra real-time updates as we're seeing these breakouts, for example, or if you want to get extra altcoin content that I do not even cover on this channel. For example, this potential breakout opportunity in Polygon. And once again, you'll find a link to my official Twitter account in the description down below for those of you that want to stay up to date in these markets at all times. And if you enjoy this video or got something valuable out of it, make sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this one. And considering the opportunities that we are seeing right now in the market, honestly, there's never been a better time to share these videos around with your friends and family to get everyone involved in this huge opportunity. And before clicking off this video, for the new viewers on the channel, make sure you're checking out one of these uploads if you haven't already. I've got a trading tutorial video showing you how to trade crypto and a passive income video showing you how to earn passive income every single day with no work required. But anyway, that is really everything I have to say for this video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.